Hey guys, it's Jason again. I want to show you on the HTP Invertig 221, the independent AC amplitude settings. Now, I've looked on YouTube and I haven't found any settings that show how to use the machine. Um, so I just want to bring you guys through and show you how to use it, especially for those Invertig owners that have and haven't used it or for the owners that are looking for an Invertig 221 and, and want to know what it's about. So these settings are sort of like the ones on a Dynasty. So you can get the upgrade pack for $550 for the Dynasty DX210. So you can do that and then you get electrode positive and electrode negative amperage increase and decreases. So uh, you can have electrode negative set to say 180 and electrode positive set to 200. The Invertig is a little different. Um, I want to show you that so you guys can see the difference. Again, Miller charge is $550 or you have to go up to the Dynasty 400. All right, but you can get it for the 280 and the 210 DX only, but HTP gives it for free. So it's a little different, but let me show you what it's about. All right, so I have, uh, I have you guys up here right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the machine on. Uh, one thing I wanna tell you about this machine, it's super quiet too. So that's one thing. The other thing is I made an adapter in order to hook up any torch that you want. You can actually take this fitting off and put on another one. Right, so there's the fitting for that. So now I can plug anything with a 5 8 right hand on there. And then this just comes off of here too if I wanna just put the regular torch back on. So, but that's not what we're here for. So let me zoom you in to the top panel here. Okay, there you go. All right, so this machine has a few different functions. So you have AC on, I'm going to shut it off just so you can kind of see what's going on. All right. AC on. Solid green light. That means you're in AC mode. That's, that means you're not in the amplitude settings. Okay. So now I can come over here and I can adjust my frequency. So let's say you want to put your frequency at a 125. So you can do that. And then click one more time and you got the balance. So now the amplitude setting is it's kind of adjusted with that I mean I guess so so I'm over here in the balance and all right so I'm gonna go up to say 60% all right so I got 60% uh, penetration 40% cleaning okay so if that's not enough and let's say you're in uh, doing quarter inch material and you need a little more penetration right <clears throat> so you come over here and you hold in AC set see it says electrode negative 100 percent all right so we're going to do it again and you hold, keep holding it and it'll say ep enp so that's electrode positive all right so what happens with that is you have electrode positive at 100 percent and electrode negative at 100 percent right now that's the way the machine's set so Electrode negative gives you more penetration where electrode positive gives you more cleaning action, okay? So, so let's say you want to decrease the cleaning action and you want to give electrode negative more oomph to get through the quarter inch. So we need to turn down the electrode positive, all right? So, and it would be the same way if you wanted more cleaning, you know, you wanted to put more heat into the tungsten and not the workpiece, you would turn down the electrode negative and turn up the electrode positive. So they both start at 100%. You can only adjust one at a time. So you can only adjust electrode negative or electrode positive. When you do the adjustment, the opposite one stays at 100%. Remember that. This is good though, because what happens is with the HTP and the Miller, you can adjust them separately. But let's say you're doing a quarter inch piece, you got your adjustments, you have 200 amps electrode positive, 180 electrode negative, all right? So now you got a little more cleaning. Now let's say you go to something thicker and you want to do electrode negative. Now you got to go back to your machine and change the settings where this is percentage of amperage. Remember that. The HTP is percentage of amperage, all right? So 100% of both. So whatever, we're on 220 amps. This is 100% of 120 amps. If we're at... 160 because we just decreased the size of the piece, but we want to keep our settings the same. It's a percentage of 160. All right. 
So I'm going to go into my electrode positive and I'm going to turn it down. All right, so I'm going to turn it down to say 60. So now I just put 40% more of my amperage into my electrode negative. All right, so you can tell that you're in this setting because now your AC light is blinking. All right, that's how you're always going to tell that you're in the AC amplitude setting. All right, so now you can go back to your function. You can change any other settings you want. And then pulse flow, you know, let's say you want to change it to eight. Whatever you're doing. So you can basically go back into your settings and change whatever you want to. You can do pulse. You can change that if you want. You can take it off pulse. All right. So now, now it's blinking, okay? If you want to get out of the AC amplitude setting, you just hold it in again. until it shuts off and now it's solid. So you hold it in until it goes through both. It'll go through EN, EP, shut off, okay? Let's get back into it. So electrode negative, it's at 60. So let's see what electrode positive is at. Keep holding it until you see positive. Now you'll see it's at 100. It's always gonna be at 100, all right? So let's go back into negative. Now we're going to change it. We're going to go back up. So now it's, it's, it's going to stay at 90 unless you change the other one because only one can be at 100%, okay? So now if we want more cleaning action, so electrode negative, we're going to turn down the electrode negative. So now it's at 60% electrode negative, 100% electrode positive, all right? Electrode negative. Electrode positive, boom, 100%. That's how you can tell that you're changing your settings correctly. Only one can be at 100%. You can only change one. Again, it's a percentage of. So, like I said, I just changed this down to 60% electrode negative. Now I'm gonna put more heat into the tungsten instead of my workpiece, instead of the opposite setting that I showed you in the first place. So, the next video that I do, I'm gonna put these settings to use but I wanna get this out here so you can actually see what it is, how to use it, and what to use it for. Uh, like I said, there's not a lot of videos out there that explain this. This is a $550 option that Miller offers for that dynasty that you get free with the Invertake. So you get percentage of 220 amps, all right? So keep that in mind when you're looking for a machine. So this is, again, this is, this is another setting outside of AC balance, all right? So you can also adjust, once you go into your amplitude settings and start adjusting that, you might have to go back and adjust your balance because you're, you're playing with the electronegative and electropositive. So of course that's gonna skew your balance. So make sure you go into your balance and also check that, make sure it's correct, all right? So again, if I wanna get out, so I'm gonna go back in, set that to 90. That should be 100. Let's see, electrode negative should be 100 now. Make sure electrode positive is up there. 100, okay. So I wanna get out of this and I wanna just go in straight AC mode. Okay, so now I have a solid light. So whatever I change in the AC amplitude does not matter. Doesn't matter what it's set to, it doesn't matter if you leave it on 60, it doesn't matter if you leave it on 30. Uh, you're out of it now, okay. So once this is a solid light, you're out of it. One other thing I'm gonna show you um, while I have this video going is, if you go into stick mode, a lot of people don't realize this, but VRD is built into this machine, all right? So stick mode goes up to 200. I think you gotta go like this and then hold it in while it's blinking. Yep, that's what you have to do. So you have to click it until it goes in a stick. Now, if you see your stick light blinking, you're in VRD mode. If you notice, your voltage is only 18.5. Guys, this is not in the manual, so make sure you take note of it. I ended up in this mode one time. I didn't realize I was doing a job and it wasn't welding the way I thought with my amperage because I was welding 200 amps, but I was at 18 and a half volts. So if you see your stick light blinking and you can't figure out what's going on with your stick, you're in VRD. So you, all you do is Click it back to stick, and then hold it again while it's blinking, and then hold it in. 
There you go. Now it went back, okay? So you gotta click on stick and then hold it in. It doesn't matter if it's gonna show 2T because it's still showing, it's gonna show stick. It'll, it'll look like it's showing TIG, but it's stick. So you hit stick and then you hold it in, do it again. You hold it in long enough, VRD, okay? Same thing, go back to stick and then hold it in again. VRD is blinking, keep holding it. Now it's off, voltage went back. So that's a tip for you guys that end up in VRD mode and you don't understand why. But that's it, if you guys have any uh, questions about the amplitude setting, shoot a message in the comments, I'll help you out with it. It's very easy to use once you start figuring it out and you start playing with it. Do some test pieces with it, and you're gonna love it. Like I said, this is a quarter inch machine, but with the amplitude settings, you can get a lot more penetration out of it. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you wanna see the next video of me using the Invertig, using these AC amplitude settings, click subscribe and like, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.